good afternoon. Well, I, uh, as I was told, I prepared my lecture in Hebrew, so mine will be in Hebrew, as you heard from the back. Uh, 21st century hospital design. This is a big sentence with a lot of meanings, and we heard a lot of stuff today from different uh, people that deal with uh, medicine and uh, equipment and everything. Uh, these people are going to be always around when we design a hospital. The majority, that uh, the quiet majority that are not there when we design the hospital are the patients. And we as an architect, as architects, not as an architect, um, are obliged to uh, really uh, watch their back and make sure that uh, the, the facilities we design will be uh, uh, as good as we want them to be in order to, uh, to serve those people that come to uh, get the, the treatment in the hospital. How do I move this? That's why I, um, my, uh, my talk will be client-centered hospital. Hospital is, uh, is uh, built from two words, the hotel and the hospitality. And uh, traveling around the world in the last uh, 15, 20 years, visiting probably between 50 to 100 medical centers, I found and I still find that the uh, accommodation is one of the most important things that the patient looks for. Uh, it goes together with the, with the kind of medicine and the uh, level of medicine that he will get. He reads, the patient reads uh, the, the accommodation uh, along with the uh, type of medicine or treatment that he will be able to get in this uh, uh, hospital. Uh, if I can give some, some uh, examples, uh, before I started to uh, design the cancer center in Sheba Hospital, we uh, made a tour in the United States and we saw some, some uh, centers. And I was amazed by the little things that we found. For example, in Sloan Kettering, in the entrance in the, in the city, in Manhattan, uh, there is a guy named John. He sits in the entrance, and he greets everybody with his name. And he takes this guy, and he says, Mrs. Hoffman, nice to meet you, nice to see you again. And he walks them to the elevator and helps them to sit down, because the elevators have seats because these people are really in bad shape. So those little things give the, the people, the human scale, I can say, uh, makes all the difference. We found also in, in uh, this uh, Sloan Kettering in the top floor, uh, a place that they t teach how to cook, special food for people that are going through the disease. So I, I'm trying to really focus on not, not on, the, on the medical part of the, of the hospital, but on the hotel part of the hospital. Uh, in in uh, Cleveland, we visited the, one of the very interesting uh, cancer centers. And we found out that they have, probably not the only place, they have a valet parking for people that come every day for three weeks for uh, radiation. They come for 20 minutes, they come from work, they go back to work. So they try to make their life as easy as possible in order to really accommodate them. So this is, this is what I, was talking, I want to talk about. I want to show some things that I did, we did in the office, in, in Israel, in overseas. And I'll start with uh, Sheba Medical Hospital, the cancer center. The cancer center was started in, uh, uh, in a few 
little buildings. Uh, the, the medical treatments were uh, all over the place. You had to go from one building to another to get uh, treatment. And uh, as you know, we heard a lot of the, the master plans and the, the, new, uh, the new movements of the hospital, the medical centers that uh, uh, they're trying to create now uh, a hospital or a medical center within the medical center that treats a certain disease women, uh, heart, uh, cancer, uh, children, and so forth. So we got this um, few buildings, and we had to create some kind of uh, one roof for the, whole, for the whole cancer treatment center. Unfortunately, they, they didn't keep call it the cancer treatment center. They call it the cancer center, which is intimidating, to my opinion, because you don't go you don't go there to get a cancer, you go <laughs> to get it treated. So uh, this is one of the things that you try to teach the people, you know, or you try to, to uh, transfer some things that you have, you think, and it doesn't always work. So that's what I showed, the, what was the first sketch, and that's what came out. We built, as you can see here, uh, a parking lot next door. That's uh, what I was talking about with a, with a designated area for uh, people that come for getting to get uh, cancer uh, uh, radiation treatments on a daily basis with a connection directly into the, into the main hall of the building. Uh, this area was designed for a drop-off for people that they, you know, they can't walk. One of the family brings them, they, have to f they can sit here, wait, for the mem uh, family member to park, come back and walk with uh, together into the building. The inside part of the buildings are uh, well designed in terms of uh, feelings of uh, hotel. Uh, people that come to a hospital, they don't have to c feel that they come to a hospital. We want them to feel they come to a different environment, a welcoming environment, that feels, you know, good, and they, you know, they don't believe that they are in a hospital. Uh, some drawings, which I will go fast. This area is for ki for children, waiting for uh, also for uh, treatments. So we designed a special area for uh, computers and sitting with, you know, uh, different size of uh, chairs for for uh, the p the parents and the kids. Uh, this floor is completely for uh, for treatments with an open open double uh, uh, double floor that you will see in a minute, overlooking to the water, and the the outpatient clinics on the third floor, with a place for uh, for uh, 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 whatever you call it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this was an oval an oval room, so. Since uh, I had, um, you know, I felt like it's an oval office, so I painted it Sgalgal, which is in Hebrew, oval. So, unfortunately, it took about two months and they painted differently. Anyway, <laughs> so this is what I was talking about, looking, overlooking to the water. It's a big space with, with a coffee shop, with a uh, movie theater, with a place to uh, do some handwork. With a with a barber shop for for wigs, and some other stuff. Okay. Uh, the heart center is another center in the same hospital in Sheba Hospital. Also uh, started with a few old buildings that we had to uh, come up with a, with a new uh, roof for the for the heart center. As you can see. Uh, well, this was my idea about the heart, broken heart, but this is just, uh, uh, okay. So this was the first uh, sketch of what you saw before, the two few old buildings connected with the new part of the building. And this also, uh, uh, some areas, uh, waiting areas for the, for the outpatient clinics. Here you can see some more drawings of the different floors catheterization area, uh, ICU, uh, all kind of other departments, and this is the main hall. Uh, second floor is uh, 
uh, also op outpatient clinics, the uh, inpatient department, intensive care unit, uh, coroner intensive care unit, and connection directly to the open heart uh, surgery uh, uh, operating theater. That's the third floor is the, the uh, lab laboratories. And that's how the building looked uh, at the end. Also some few pictures from the, from the inside. This is the, the main uh, atrium connecting the, th the three uh, parts of the building. Some details of the artery and other stuff. Okay, Lipid Institute is another building that was built close to the cancer center. And uh, I will go fast because I got only a few seconds or maybe minutes. Uh, Rabin Medical Center is another center that I was working for uh, quite a few years, starting with uh, Dr. Uh, Oppenheim, that I think is still here if he didn't leave yet. Uh, uh, we did some uh, work with uh, joint venture with American architects, uh, and you can see here some of them. Uh, the internal medicine in the uh, inpatient department started as a new uh, addition to an existing building. And uh, you can see some uh, pictures in the, from the interior of this uh, thing. This was done about uh, 15 years ago. Uh, the Guru Shasha Inpatient Building, as I said, was done with uh, American and some other architects. Uh, the beginning of the building was uh, actually the building was built quite a few years ago by Sharon office. And I wanted to say that uh, the first step in my architecture uh, Life started in Sharon's office. I worked with Arad's grandfather and father. And uh, that's like uh, closing a circle. And then uh, to go back to this, this was the old building that was built by Sharon and, uh, in the 50s. Uh, we, uh, we did some work and we uh, changed the whole, the whole building. This was, this is, was, this was the, or the original one. The wards along here, some rooms of doctor's rooms here, uh, toilets on across the street, four or five uh, beds in the in, uh, time's up, okay? I'll run. So we changed the building and uh, we moved everything and this is what came out. Uh, and that's a new facade. Uh, two minutes and I'm up. Okay, the new, the new, uh, I'll, we're building now a new building in Bellinson, which is the, uh, is going to be the new ER, the heart center and the, and the uh, inpatient tower. Uh, the ER is the, one of the biggest ones in Israel. It's going to be about 6,000 square meters and uh, this is a typical floor of uh, two wards. And then I moved to, uh, I want to just have a few words about uh, another area of the world, Guinea Equatorial. Uh, when you come to Guinea Equatorial, this is, this is an existing hospital. As uh, you know, uh, this is the typical existing hospital that we found when we came in on the early 2000. And we got uh, uh, started to design a new uh, hospital, which uh, after two years was opened. And uh, this is the campus, it's including uh, hospital, uh, all the, the equipment, uh, the last uh, the last equipment that will be that it's exactly like in Israel or anywhere else in the world, and uh, everything was done here. The flooring, the, the 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 furniture, everything brought was brought from here, and the the Americans started to uh, land in in this hospital and get some treatment. This is the after finishing that hospital, we we received right away because it was such a success another hospital sitting on like uh, in Haifa on the beach. Uh, we started with a large size hospital, and after uh, we finished uh, the initial design and we started building, the budget was cut to half, and we had <laughs> and we had to cut one wing of the of the butterfly. 
But we didn't give up. We went on. We had to change all the floor, all the plans. And it was built and opened last year. And this, this, place, this place is still is already working for a year, full of people. Uh, not only in, U in e Europe they do it. We did it also in uh, Africa. This is the operating theater. We also built a hotel and housing with uh, classes for children, playgrounds, and this is the campus. So well now we're doing two more, which is under construction, because as I said, it was a, a good success, so they gave us more. So we're doing two more. We do, we're talking about enlarging the first one. As you can see, the white area is the old hospital. We're going to add all the rest and double the size. This is the first building. We're going to double it like this. And uh, some other things we're doing now in Luanda, uh, Luanda Medical Center, which is going to be a diagnos diagnostic center, which is the beginning of uh, uh, a new movement that are going to build some uh, more uh, medical centers in Luanda, and we're working on it right now, and it's in the process. And some other projects that I was done, this is in Vietnam. It's a proposal that uh, is going to start moving soon. And that's it. I want to thank you for the privilege.